powered by the Montana Television Network. The 10 o'clock news continues on KRTV, Montana's news leader. Welcome back. The U.S. Air Force is holding a competition to replace their aging UH-1 Huey helicopter fleet in use since the Vietnam War. In Montana, the Hueys currently serve and protect Malmstrom Air Force Base and play a critical role in search and rescue missions in the region. Now, Boeing has entered their MH-139 helicopter into that competition. MTN's Josh Minnie took a ride to see what it has to offer. We're at Holman Aviation, which shares the runway with Great Falls International Airport, checking out Boeing's MH-139, which could be the newest addition to the Air Force's helicopter fleet. The aircraft is used by more than 250 companies and countries globally. Added military capabilities include missile warning sensors, flare dispensers to throw off heat-seeking missiles, machine guns, and more. It's about the same footprint as that Huey is. Uh, but with this, you get about 30% more cabin room inside the, the main part of the cabin here because you don't have the transmission down in the middle of it. We took a ride in the MH-139 clockwise above Great Falls, flying alongside the Missouri River and swinging over Malmstrom Air Force Base. The aircraft is really right-sized and the right kind of aircraft for this particular mission. Unlike large combat helicopters, Boeing officials say the mid-size commercial aircraft is militarized specifically for this mission, which will save in parts and maintenance costs over time. Uh, it's really not a combat mission. It's not a, it doesn't really require a combat aircraft. The U.S. Air Force is looking to purchase up to 84 helicopters to replace the aging Huey fleet. These helicopters will provide security at the nation's intercontinental ballistic missile sites. They will also provide transportation for VIP officials in Washington, D.C. The MH-139 offers hoisting capabilities needed for search and rescue missions, and with faster speeds and greater carrying capacity than the Hueys, they say it should do the job if awarded the contract. In Great Falls, Josh Many, MTN News. The Air Force will make their decision by early next year, and they aim to have the replacement helicopters operating at Malmstrom by 2020.